Good morning, everybody. What country do you think of when you hear the word volcano? Well, maybe you think of our country. Perhaps you remember Mount St. Helens erupting in 1980. But we had a really big eruption in Northern California on this date, May 22, in 1915, when Mount Lawson erupted. And today, it is a national park. This diagram reminds us that there are tectonic plates beneath the surface of the Earth and they collide and where they do it's often very unstable. So here's a map of the Cascade Range from Canada through Washington, Oregon and into California. So our event takes place at the southern end of the Cascade Range. Some of the real beautiful mountains that you might know of, one of them is Mount Rainier which you can see if you're in the Seattle area, 14,411 feet. Still has steam coming from the top. Another mountain in the northern part of Washington State is Mount Baker, 10,781. And this is near where my wife Dorothy grew up in Washington State. So she could see Mount Baker when she was growing up in Whatcom County. This is in Oregon, Mackenzie Bridge, Oregon. Years ago, Dorothy and I were traveling in Oregon and we crossed to the mountains and came across this extensive lava field. So another reminder of volcanic activity. So here's Mount Lawson, or Lawson Peak. This is what it looks like today, 10,457 feet. This is the site of our event and next to it, or near it, is Mount Tahama, which geologists think was the original peak going back a long, long time ago, and that Mount Lawson somehow broke off from it. So there's a lot of cool geologic history there. Native peoples have been living in California for a long time. This map shows where they were. So people lived in the area of Mount Lawson, but there's very little archaeological evidence, probably because it was such an unstable area, people didn't stay put. So lots of exploring going on on the West Coast in the uh, 1820s. This is the map showing the roots of Jedediah Smith, famous mountain men. And as that's 1820, and then as you get uh, into the 1830s, more and more people are moving out to California, and Peter Lawson was a guide that uh, probably why Lawson Peak is named what it is after him. So on May 15, 1915, steam started coming out of Lawson Peak in a big way. It had been dormant for over 20,000 years. And then a few days later, there was a big eruption of blocks of lava. And here are some of those blocks in the area. So Something was going on with Lawson Peak. And then a few days after that was a big lava flow. And here's a photograph of that lava flow. So people knew something was going to happen. And then our event, May 22, 1915, Lawson Peak erupted. Now this was pretty well photographed. People could sense that something was happening. Uh, here's another picture of the explosion from farther away. So you can imagine all these people with their big box cameras and their tripods and things. And one guy who really focused on this was Ben Franklin Loomis, and he published a book, Pictorial History of the Lawson Volcano Explosion. So he really documented it well. Now it became a national park about the same time as the explosion. Prior to the explosion, it was a national protected area, but the explosion made people think we need to preserve this. So it became a park uh, in 1916, the next year. One of the things about Lawson Volcano National Park is it's very snowy. It's one of the snowiest places in Northern California. And it has quite an extensive trail network. It's also surrounded by national forests. So if you like to hike, this is a, a really good place to go. And some of the trails really remind us of its volcanic history, like this one sort of looks like you're hiking on the moon with all the debris and things uh, from the volcano. So I think we'd all agree that as we are in these beautiful areas in our country and you see the, the beauty of nature, we're reminded of the power of nature 
lurking beneath the surface.